Tim, how you doing? How's your mom? When Susan asked me to speak today, I, guess, uh, I asked her what she wanted me to like say, and she said, honesty. speak from your heart. You'll know what to say. Of course, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to reach the microphone, but I'm glad I can. Just get closer to it, honey. Okay. Well, everyone who knows me knows what's in my heart. I love babies. Every single baby I see, I want to keep. Where'd that little one go? She was right there. I had my eye on her. Oh. I also love to read, and I read a lot of history. My passion for history started with my love for babies, and that led to a lifelong conviction to always stand up for the Second Amendment. Now that may sound a bit blonde, but I'm going to connect the dots for you. When I was growing up, I spent a lot of weekends and summers with my oldest brother and his family. They had a pool. And they also had babies for me to love up to my heart's content. My brother Lee had a lot of books on the Wild West and World War II. I thumbed through those a lot. Our dad was in Patton's Third Army, so sometimes we talked about that. Lee taught me about the Lewis and Clark expedition, and we delved into religion occasionally. My chats with Nancy, my sister-in-law, encompassed a wider range of topics, but what I remember most is what she told me about the Holocaust. It's funny, but the scent of ivory soap you know, the wash the dishes always takes me back to 1980 and the conversations I had with Nancy while she washed the dishes. I was a kid, but I was smart, and she knew I could handle hearing the, tr the terrible truth.